Hi guys, this is Sharon. I'm just making this quick video for those of you who have difficulty, you know, copying and pasting. I just don't want, you know, people to be left behind and, you know, it takes a little while to explain, you know, via phone or chat. So I decided to make this video. Excuse me. When I say right click, this means this part of your, your, of your mouse. Left click is what we usually do when we're clicking on things, but the right click is the one all the way to your far right. So when I say right click, this is the part of the mouse I'm talking about. Left click is what we normally use when we uh, click on something. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. So if you don't have a Gmail account, guys, make sure you open one. I'm going to suggest you use Gmail to contact View Tracker, even if you have Yahoo. I was I was saying that maybe you should use your same email address, but it's really difficult to. Um, I don't know how Yahoo works. I know that um, Gmail works pretty well because it's connected to YouTube and to YouTube um, into Google Images and to a Google Hangout, so it's just more convenient. Um, so I'm using Gmail. If you have Gmail already, that's great. If you don't have a Gmail, open a Gmail account so that you can now use your YouTube channel, which is connected to your Gmail channel. Okay, just a sidebar. So you want to create a, an email to video at view tracker, videos at viewtracker.com. So the first thing you need to do is find an image. So right here, you choose an image. And let's say we want to do one for Solove. And I'm going to use Tyrone as an example. Solove. Right? So say I want to use banners. And I want to use this one. Right? So what you would do is do the right click that I said to do. Then the drop down box will come up. And you would say save image, which is what you would use your regular clicking mouse on the left to do. And you know, you can name, rename it if you want to, if you don't want to use this name, make sure you put it in a file that you can find it. Picture file is usually what I put it in. People sometimes put it in documents or download. I put it in a picture file because it's just easy for me to remember that. Remember how, what name you saved it. So it's easy to find it. If you don't remember, you could always scroll and just press save. I already saved that picture for this demonstration, so I don't need to. So the next thing you want to do is you want to compose an email. So you want to say videos. Videos at viewtracker.com. I already have it up here. Customize my view tracker could be the subject. And then what you need to do is go into your view tracker, um, sign up page and open up your back office. What I suggest you do is when you have, when, when you finally get your, when you sign up your account and you get your account information from view tracker, just make a folder and put everything view tracker in there. So name it view tracker like I did. So this way you can find the, your information really quickly. So because this is in my file, I'm able to find it quickly and then open up my view tracker. Then right here is when you will see your ID number. Make sure that you go back here and finish your profile, put your profile in, put your billing information in here so that view tracker can pay you. Okay. And then put 002516. That's mine, but yours would be different, of course. So what you would do is say, Hi, my name is Tyrone Patterson. My view tracker ID number. Where's the number sign? Is zero zero two five one six. And then you would add your picture that you just finished saving. So you put, leave it where you want to add it. What I like about Google is that they have a place where you can add the picture. I didn't even know it was there until I started doing this. So I like that. So 
I had already named it soul of a plane just so I can remember. Open it up. You see the picture right there. You press OK and there you have it. So now videos at View Tracker knows what picture you want. Now the autoplay, which is what will when someone clicks on your link, that's the first thing that will open up and automatically play. So you will want to let them know which video you want to autoplay. Then you go back into your YouTube video. Make sure, I'm sure you set up your YouTube too so that you can find videos that you want really quickly. I have, um, I have View Tracker. I've subscribed to View Tracker. So it's easy for me to find the view tracker official official page. And this is what the view tracker official page looks like. And so that I can get videos without links in them. So this is their newest view tracker video. And I want to make that the autoplay. So I just right click again, copy with your left, what you normally use, your normal clicking part of your mouse, which is the left side. Go back to your your um, your email and put that in. Put the link in. Then of of course I want to put my Solove stuff. So you could put what color you want your your first video to be in, or you could do video one. I'll just video one this. Go back to YouTube. Go back here. Type in Solove. Look for an official, um, if you have a business, a, the official business site, because they're going to have the videos that don't have links in it. You don't want to use videos that has someone else's link, because if someone opens up the YouTube in your view tracker, they can look at and find someone else's link and sign up with them instead of you. I just like to cover myself that way. So you can do what is Solove, right? <coughs> Sorry. Go to share, do the same thing, right click, then paste with your left mouse, left side of your mouse, paste. Go into your email, right click and paste. Oh, I think I did this wrong. Sorry. I was supposed to do right click and copy. <laughs> Duh. Right click, wait, highlight it, right click, copy, then you go back into your video thing and your email and do right click and paste. Then with video two, you do the same thing. Look for a video you want to do. Go to the back page. Maybe you want to do um, share and earn. <laughs> Right click, copy, go back to the email, paste, and video three. Do the same thing. Just go back with your back button to go back to the page you previously was on. Suppose you'd like to talk about um, some celebrities who, who are using Solove. And you go to share. Copy. Go back to. And that's it. And if, thank you so much. Please let me know. And this will be ready. Thanks again. And then you press send. And that's how you do it, guys. Very easy, very simple. This is Sharon. I really hope this was helpful. I see you all guys at the top, okay? Take care. And I'm trying to get out of this video. And I'm not having success.